Meghan Markle has made the heartbreaking decision to cut all ties with her father and will never let him meet his grandson Archie, it was claimed today. The Duchess of Sussex will reportedly remain estranged from Thomas Markle, 75, to protect herself, her husband and her son. Mr. Markle spoke to the Mail on Sunday yesterday and said he had hoped becoming a mother would mellow Meghan and she and Prince Harry would finally reach out to him after ghosting him 16 months ago. Mr. Markle, who lives in Mexico, failed to walk his daughter down the aisle in May last year after suffering a heart attack and has had no contact with Meghan ever since. But royal sources have claimed that his daughter and her husband have no intention of letting Archie meet his grandfather with Meghan making the heartbreaking decision of having nothing more to do with him. A source told, it's a terribly sad situation but Meghan has made the very difficult decision that she doesn't have an active relationship with her father anymore. This was actually a decision she made some time ago and it is something she's now coming to terms with. It's obviously heartbreaking for her but she has to protect herself, her husband and her son. Mr. Markle has never met his son-in-law. 34, who telephoned him to ask for Meghan's hand in marriage. But their very good relationship soured after it emerged that Meghan's father had secretly collaborated with a British paparazzi photographer to stage a series of pictures in the run-up to their Windsor wedding. Prince Charles then gave away Meghan in her father's absence and the only member of her family at the ceremony was her mother Doria Ragland. Thomas Markle has given a handful of interviews and released brief statements to celebrate Meghan's pregnancy and Archie's birth where he asked for reconciliation. Meghan's decision not to have a relationship with her father has split opinion. Royal biographer Angela Levin said today, I think when you have a parent like that, what he's done, it's very difficult to trust him. He's a grown-up, he should know not to do that. I understand where Meghan is coming from. Yesterday Mr. Markle said he feels he is being unfairly vilified and cut out of his grandson's life. He said, I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of being vilified and shut out of their lives. I have to stand up for myself. I'm going to carry on speaking and I'm not going to shut up, he added. No father deserves this kind of abuse when he's been that good to his daughter. Ask anyone who knows us both. I've been very kind and generous to my daughter. Everyone raves about how gracious and wonderful they are, but they are not wonderful to their own family. That's hypocritical. You can't portray yourself as being charitable and bringing people together and then ghost your own father and your entire family. Their treatment of me has left a lot to be desired. I've still never met my son-in-law. Why couldn't Prince Harry have got on a plane and flown to see me to ask for her hand? He obviously has no problem getting on private jets. He added, I would like them to send me a picture of Archie so I can frame it and put it on my wall beside the one of Meghan. Isn't that what any grandfather would want? I'd love to know if he's got the famous Markle nose. It was Meghan's 38th birthday last month and he said, I sent her a card via her financial advisor in LA but received no acknowledgement. I have no idea if she got it. I'd like to do a piece saying the 10 things people don't know about me but there are way more than 10. What upsets me is when people who don't know me say negative things about me. Until you know me, what gives you that right? He never received an official wedding invitation and has only ever seen a picture of his new grandson on the internet. Fiercely, I love my daughter. She's my baby and this is my favorite ever picture of her, said Mr. Markle. He added, we were so close. I would come home from work, he was an award-winning Hollywood lighting director, and I would hold her against my chest and we would walk around for hours and hours. Sometimes I get the feeling people think I don't love my daughter. I do love her very much. I would love nothing more than to put a picture of Archie in a frame and place it beside the one of Meghan. There was never any problem between Meghan and me until recently. I've stayed quiet because Meghan was pregnant with Archie but I'm speaking out now because they and their PR people are continuing to ghost me out of her life. Of course I'm disappointed not to see Archie. I had hoped becoming a mother would mellow Meghan and she would reach out. 
Mr. Markle has taken issue with celebrity friends of Meghan and Harry launching personal attacks on him. People who don't know me make judgments, he said yesterday. My daughter's new A-list friends have no right to speak about me until they know me. Most upsetting, says Mr. Markle, is the fact that his daughter, in her first major speech in Fiji last year, claimed that she paid her own way through university and would not have been able to afford the reported $200,000 tuition fees at Northwestern University without financial aid. Speaking to a group of students at the University of the South Pacific, Megan said, The journey of higher education is an incredible, impactful and pivotal one. I am also fully aware of the challenges of being able to afford this level of schooling for many people around the world, myself included. It was with scholarships, financial aid programs, and work study from my earnings from a job on campus that went directly towards my tuition that I was able to attend university, and without question it was worth every effort. Not true, says her father, who remained silent at the time because his daughter was pregnant. I'm sorry but that is completely untrue. I paid every penny of her tuition and I have the bank statements to prove it. I paid for her trips to Spain and England. I paid for her internship in Argentina. Mr. Markle is tired of waiting for his daughter and Prince Harry to forgive him. He said, I always upheld my responsibilities as a father. Meghan's comments about paying her way through college are offensive to me. I don't want anything from Meghan or Harry but I'm not going to shut up until the whole truth is out there. I will continue to contradict anything said about me that isn't true. I believe all family differences can be resolved and I believe that can still happen for me, Meghan and Harry. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have chosen to raise their baby as privately as possible. But Meghan was still faced with a difficult decision closer to home to protect her family. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, welcomed baby Archie Harrison in May this year. Despite facing criticism for their fiercely guarded privacy, the couple has held firm in their right to shield Archie from public scrutiny. But now, it has emerged Meghan has chosen to shield him from family, too. The Duchess of Sussex, 38, has had a difficult relationship with her father, Thomas Markle, 75 since he abandoned her on her wedding day. Caught up in a fake paparazzi photo scandal, Thomas cited health issues as the reason for pulling out of walking his daughter down the aisle at the last minute. Since then, Meghan has remained largely tight-lipped over the matter. Thomas, however, has sought to communicate his hurt at the falling out through the press, giving several high-profile interviews, angering the palace and further alienating his daughter. Now, it has emerged that Meghan has made the painful decision that Thomas will never meet his grandson, Archie. A source close to the Sussexes told The Sun, it's a terribly sad situation but Meghan has made the very difficult decision that she doesn't have an active relationship with her father anymore. This was actually a decision she made some time ago and it is something she's now coming to terms with. It's obviously heartbreaking for her but she has to protect herself, her husband and her son. Thomas hasn't met Harry and it's unlikely he'll meet Archie either. In another explosive interview, Thomas spoke of his disappointment, and said he thought having Archie might have mellowed Meghan. Speaking to the Daily Mail, he said, there was never any problem between Meghan and me until recently. I've stayed quiet because Meghan was pregnant with Archie but I'm speaking out now because they and their PR people are continuing to ghost me out of her life. Of course I'm disappointed not to see Archie. I had hoped becoming a mother would mellow Meghan and she would reach out. He added, I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of being vilified and shut out of their lives. I don't want anything from Meghan or Harry but I'm not going to shut up until the whole truth is out there. I have to stand up for myself. I'm going to carry on speaking and I'm not going to shut up. No father deserves this kind of abuse when he's been that good to his daughter. Ask anyone who knows us both. I've been very kind and generous to my daughter. Despite it all, Thomas insists all he wants is to reconcile with his beloved Meggie. He said, I love my daughter. She's my baby.